In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Tropic Feel Canyon sneakers. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information, link in the description below. So I've been testing these things for a couple weeks now, and I've really enjoyed using them. Tropic Fill, they make travel shoes, the ultimate travel shoes, they say. Uh, they've gone through uh, their first kind of shoe was called the Tropic, and now they've got the Canyon. They've also got the Monsoon that we have as well, um, but that seems just to be like a revisited version of their original Tropics, but that one's actually been really nice in testing as well. This one, we're just gonna focus on the Canyon. Um, so, they're made for travel, they're vegan, um, they're made out of three PET bottles as well, so it's all recycled material, and that's really cool. Um, it's a Kickstarter brand based out of Barcelona, and they made a ton of money um, when they first kickstarted this product, and you know we can see why. Everyone wants that one perfect travel shoe, and you know in some use cases, this could probably be it. You know, if you're on the beach, if you're in hot weather, um, also, if you're in, you know, anywhere where you go through a monsoon season, um, these can be really great. I've been testing them for two weeks in Detroit in super cold weather. They haven't been ideal, but they actually haven't been that bad either. Um, they're not the smartest looking shoe, as you can tell. So, you know, if you're a little, if you're, you know, maybe a little bit more professional, you maybe can't get away with them um, when you're traveling, you know, if you're traveling for business, but then you've probably got a lot smarter shoes on anyway. But, you know, if you're just backpacking around Southeast Asia, then these can definitely do, you know, you a great job. Um, and I think that's what they've been, you know, marketed towards and I can definitely see that. Now, one thing that did take a little bit of getting used to was this kind of almost looks like dog ears on the, you know, either end of the shoe. And we kind of thought you would do something with them, you know, whether you could just slot them it down the side so you didn't have this dangling bit, but from what we can figure out, you actually can't, which is a little bit strange because all you want to do is you want to, you know, tighten them up, pop these on, you know, like that, and you these things lock into place. But then, you know, as you can see, if you do it even more, that's actually crazy. So we actually found ourselves having them only very loosely done up um, and then you have to kind of feed all this stuff back through but they do act like a sock um, and we actually haven't experienced them coming off or feeling loose um, they work really well so we would recommend leaving these you know kind of as short as you can because it looks a little funny um, but you know other than that they work really well and it's a great idea we like that you know that this shoe company is trying something different um, or just say from a durability perspective, they feel and look pretty good, but there's a couple of stitching. Um, so this, for instance, here is a little bit of stitching and you can see maybe, you know, if these are the only pair of shoes you're going to be wearing for, you know, a year while traveling, we don't know just yet whether they're going to last, but they should do. And the glue around here seems to be all right from what we've seen with kind of other shoes, but um, craftsmanship could maybe be a little bit better. We've seen the stitching around. Um, some areas to be, you know, maybe we'd like to see it a little bit improved. In fact, we've also got that on the other shoe um, just there. So that's not ideal, but you can cut that off and, you know, hopefully it won't get any worse. So they come in a few different colors. Uh, the canyons do and the monsoons do as well. They've got, you know, we've gone for this black color with the white bottom and we've got this little teal color and you can see inside as well. Kind of been digging this one, but actually I think their other colors are better. They got like a blue and a, and a stone color. Got a little removable insole, which means you can actually put one of your own in, I believe, if you've got one. This one feels pretty good. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it from the Tropic Fill Canyon perspective. Just wanna give you a little run through. Um, they're real nice shoes. If you don't have any shoes that you can just slip on, then, uh, which I haven't been using for a while, then it's really nice just to be able to run slip these on and you're good to go. Um, if you can get past the kind of wiggly tail things here, um, they do look good um, and I've really enjoyed testing them. Um, so, you know, there you have it. It's just a quick look review of the Tropic Feel Canyon sneakers. For more information, head on over to packhacker.com and if you'd like to see more in-depth reviews, then make sure to check out our main channel too.